Hey everyone, it's Pearlescent Toys back in today's video with another action figure review. Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends Amazon exclusive Wolverine. Now this figure is pretty old. It's well not pretty old. It's like a few years old. It's not it's not new <laughs> by any means. But it's still a figure that I think is really, really cool that I really wanted to look into uh, or like share on video. This was released during that time when Marvel Legends were um, were putting out like those Fox X-Men uh, movie figures. There was like Mystique, a two-pack with uh, Magneto and Professor X, uh, a few more. There was like Deadpool figures, of course. And like ever since then, they just never made any more, which is like mind blowing to me because there is definitely a market for these types of figures um as seen with like the no way home three pack how many people want that just to see like older movies be made into figures i think right now hasbro's priority isn't in those older figures it's in the mcu so unless uh hugh jackman here gets uh well he is going to be in the mcu again or <sighs> He will be debuting in the MCU, so um, hopefully he'll be able to get more figures from that. But yeah, looking into this, and this figure is pretty cool. There is another Wolverine uh, based, like, sort of on this look. It's on his X-Men Origins look. This is more of his um, X2 uh, appearance, I believe. But yeah, looking at the claws, and these might just be the best claws we've gotten in the marvel legends line because like they're just so they're sturdy they're not only like sturdy but they're also really really pointy like, you could poke someone's eye out with these things they are pretty amazing and the shininess of them yeah they are just top notch and he also comes with like little dog tags now i don't believe they say anything in particular i could be wrong but, like, just because of the size of them, like, it's really hard to pick up on anything uh, from that. He has his uh, a little belt buckle right there. Lots of good, good detail in the jeans here. They are, I'm just noticing this now, they are a little bit too shiny for my liking. I would, I do think I might um, get some matte spray and, you know, spray over this. Because they are a little, they're a little greasy looking, you know. Maybe he was, like, running through some water, maybe, but, yeah, and then you go down to the shoes, and they're just standard, they're, like, boots, but you can't really see anything. Yeah, and going through the back, there's no paint whatsoever on the back. There is a bit of, like, yellowish, like, brownish on the front of the tank top, but once you go to the back, like, it's just clean. And going over articulation, his head goes up this much, goes down that much. Uh, rocker and side to side of course he has a butterfly joint which works beautifully arm goes up this much goes all the way around double jointed pinless elbow standard wrist articulation ab crunch makes him go forward that much goes back this much waist rotation his legs go out that much and they're able to not go back too much oh look at that. he's walking um double jointed knee yep he's able to kick his own butt uh, upper thigh swivel and the foot goes down this much goes up that much and he has ankle pivot and he also goes side to side for accessories he comes with the metal claws or adamantium claws and an angry face he also comes with some bone claws and a neutral face. And yeah, this face, it's spot on to Hugh Jackman in, in my eyes. It, it may come across a little weird on camera, but like in person, like it looks exactly like him. I think the likeness here is a whole lot better than the angry face. I just like the emotion that this one shows. That's the one I always have displayed uh, on the shelf. But this face, yeah, it's just him. It's this Hugh Jackman. And it's really easy to pull off like likenesses when they're just making a neutral face like that. I think once you like start showing more emotion, uh, like it starts, it gets a little harder to show the actors, um, you know, likeness. 
And now it's my favorite time of any review. It is the size comparison series. Next to his comic book counterpart of Wolverine and Cyclops. Next up we have Rogue and Psylocke. Here we have the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and Black Panther. Spider-Ham. And movie Deadpool. Overall, just a very fun figure to pose around. One of my favorites in my collection. And, um, yeah, that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, anything to support the channel will be greatly appreciated. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Mm, bye.